Jose, James from Sky. Um, I know that Holland two weeks ago wasn't the start that you wanted in this competition. How important is it then to get the first win on the board tomorrow night? It's very important. To be honest, I think we have to win. If you don't win, we have four matches. And I would say we have to win all the last four matches, which uh, is difficult. So I think tomorrow is very important that we win that we win the game. Um, you said on uh, Saturday, I think it was, that Luke Shaw wasn't 100%, 100%, but he wasn't training today. He's ill. He's ill. He's ill. He's ill. You know, temperature, uh, fever, bad throat, and he arrived this morning, and immediately the doctor sent him home because one player like this in the middle of, of the other ones can affect others, so he went home. Jose, you said when the draw was made, you didn't know too much about Zoriel Hansk. What do you know now? What have you found out? I know because I watch matches. I watched their match against Fenerbahce. I watched their match against Dinamo Kiev. I choose two good ones, two big ones, one at home, one away, against two, two difficult opponents. And now I know, I know what I saw, what I watched, what I analyzed, plus what my assistants and my analysts, they, they, they did. One of my assistants went to, to watch uh, live their game against Fenerbahce. And um, another one went to the game against Dinamo. So what I watch on television, they did it, they did it live. And we tried to, to collect the, the important information to give to our players. So our players, they know the way they play, the important players, their style, their philosophy, their dynamics. And yes, I think we are prepared. Uh, Jose, we, you said that Henrik's fit. What can we expect from him? Obviously, we didn't see his best in the game, in the derby. But what, what can we expect from him? And what do you see as his best position? From? Henrik Mkhitaryan. He's not playing tomorrow. Oh, he's not? No. All right. That's the end of that. <laughs> Wait, will Wayne Rooney be playing tomorrow? Wayne Rooney is, is selected. I didn't decide yet if I start with him. He didn't train yesterday. He did just a little bit of the session on, on Monday. Um, he, had a back, he had a back problem. So today was the first time that he had a, a training session with, with the other players. And today is the training session where the intensity and the complexity is obviously reduced because we have a, a game tomorrow. So I was completely convinced um, of playing him tomorrow from the beginning with this situation in the last couple of days. I'm not sure if I do that because um, with the situation that you create to him, I think he really can't afford to have a performance that is not really good. And because I'm here to protect him and not to put him in difficult situations, I have to analyze if the best thing for him is to start the game if he's not totally ready for it. So I'm going to discuss that with, with him and the medical staff and decide if he starts or if he is on the bench. Jose, since we last spoke to you, England have lost their manager. I just wonder your thoughts on what's happened to Sam Allardyce over the past sort of 48 hours. Look, I, the only thing I can say is uh, that I like Sam. I feel sorry for that because I know that was the dream job 
and I feel very sorry for it. The second thing I can say is that um, what happened obviously is not going to interfere in any way with my relation with, with him. I liked him and I respected him before and that is not going to change. And the third thing is that this is between him and uh, the Football Association and I have nothing to say about it really. Jose, you rested a lot of players for the game in Holland. Considering you've got to win, or you said you've got to win tomorrow, is, are you going to change your approach at all? Yes. Does I that change my approach. More key players perhaps playing tomorrow than yes. they did? Phil, do you want to go next? Jose, you, you obviously sold Juan Mata when you were at Chelsea. You are right. You are not right. Well, you had a lot of players that played in his position. Is he more valuable to you now, maybe, than he was back then? No, first of all, I didn't sell. Because um, my job is not buy and sell. My job is to, is to coach. My job is to work on the pitch. And my job is advise my, my boards about the transfer policy. I don't buy and I don't sell. I never did it. I don't like to do it. Uh, secondly, was um, was one that asked to leave. And uh, when a player asked to leave, I think you have always to think uh, twice. And the third point is that my idea of football with the squad I had at Chelsea and the objectives we had at Chelsea is one thing. And the football I want to play at Man United, the profile of my squad and what I, I want to try to do uh, in this club is a complete different situation. So I think one at... Um, my project at Chelsea was a good player and in my project at Man United is a very good player. Jose, what's the situation with Anthony Martial? How far off is he from being much fit? Uh, he's now recovered from the contusion, not the concussion, the contusion in his calf and in his ankle. He's recovered and is ready for tomorrow. Jose, just on Martial, have you been satisfied with his performances so far before he picked up the injury? You know, you are really good in, in change that direction. No more questions about Rashford? Why Rashford doesn't play? Why Rashford is playing so well? Why Rashford is scoring goals? Why Rashford can be selected to the England national team? No more questions about Rashford. So now we turn, we turn to Martial. Jose, Jose just, just on what you said there about Juan Mata and the, the style of football, can you just elaborate on that a little? What, what you meant by the profile of football at Chelsea compared to Manchester United, how it would be different? Big differences. Big differences. In Man United, I have, uh, I have no players to play transitional football has the main objective. We are not so physically strong and compact like we were playing in a defensive block like we did when we won the title at 2014-15, if I'm not wrong. And. Um, one thing are players for that football, another thing is players to try to play in a different way. And we try to play in a different way. We are in the beginning of that, of that process, but the football we want to play here is different. And I think he's very adapted to his, um, to his qualities. We need players with these qualities. So I think he found a very good 
natural habitat to his football to play with us. OK, last two questions. Um, will Zlatan be in the squad tomorrow? Zlatan starts tomorrow. No, will he be in the squad? He starts. He starts? Yeah. Do you think he's a player that you will need to rest from time to time, given his age, or do you think he can play most games? We have two matches, and then we have, uh, for him, two weeks without football. So it's just for him to play tomorrow and to play and to play against Stoke, and then two weeks without without football. It's a different situation with other players that they they have to go the next day to the national teams. Uh, Zlatan is one of the players that will have plenty of time to to recover, so no problem for him to play these two matches. Last question. Jose, as we come up to second international break, how would you say overall things have gone for your Manchester United? You started the season very well going into the last international break and it seemed there was a dip and then you're coming back. How would you say overall? Well, we had a dip, we had a dip in one week. Uh, so the season has two months. We had a dip in one week. In one week, we lost three matches. We deserve more than that in these three matches. But it's the reality. In one week, we lost three matches. If we manage to win the game tomorrow, we win three matches in one week. So if we do that, I will... I will... I will wait for your reaction and to see if your reaction is as good with three victories in a row as it was with three defeats in, in a row, also in, in one week. But for that, we need, we need to win tomorrow.